Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an illustration of linear time invariant systems with and without memory. So, let us look at LTI systems with or without memory. So, for discrete systems, we know that the output y of n is given by the convolution of the input x of n with the impulse response h of n, which is basically equal to the sum k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k multiplied by h of n minus k. So, if you look at the summation, y of n is basically a linear combination of the input x of k. So, if h of n minus k, that is reversed and shifted version of the impulse response, h of n, that is h of n minus k, if, it, if this function or if this signal h of n minus k has values for k not equal to n, that is if h of n minus k is not equal to a constant c multiplied by the delta or the impulse signal delta of n minus k, then y of n is a function of x of k for k not equal to n or for k less than n. That means, y of n has memory. Therefore, when the impulse response h of n is not equal to a constant multiplied by the impulse signal, then y of n equal to x of n convolution with h of n, that is the system has memory, has memory. However, when, when the impulse response h of n is equal to a constant c multiplied by the impulse signal delta of n, then y of n is equal to the sum x of k multiplied by delta of n minus k into the constant c, which is basically equal to c times x of n because of the shifting property of the impulse signal. So, in this case, y of n is just a function of the current input x of n. Moreover, for a linear system, it is just a multiple of the current input. So, this is memoryless system, memoryless LTI system, of course. Now, for continuous systems, for continuous systems, the crucial property is the impulse response should be equal to h of tau should be equal to a constant multiplied by the impulse signal. Then, the system has no memory. That is, in this case, y of t is equal to integral x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. And by replacing h of tau with delta of tau, we have x of tau multiplied by c into delta of t minus tau d tau. By shifting property, this is equal to c times x of t. Therefore, for continuous linear time invariant systems, y of t should be just a multiple of the input. So, this is memoryless. For h of t not equal to c times the impulse signal, then y of t depends on x of tau for tau less than t. That is, in this case, the system has memory. Finally, for the constant c equal to 1, the output y of t is equal to x of t for the continuous systems and for discrete systems, output y of n is equal to x of n. That means, they are identity systems and the system equations are basically shifting properties. That is, x of t is equal to integral x of tau delta of t minus tau d tau. So, this is a system equation and it, it is nothing but the shifting property in continuous time. And we have a similar property for discrete systems. 
Thus, linear time invariant systems have no memory if their impulse response h of t or h of n is equal to a constant multiplied by the impulse signal. Thanks for watching.